The outer space is a fascinating scene of different heavenly bodies. Many of these captivating sights are the stars. From afar, we could see the stars only through its emitted light, and they all seem the same from a distance of many light years away from Earth. Actually, those twinkling bright stars come in different sizes, colors, and temperatures. But don't ever think that real stars are five-pointed celestial objects. They just symbolize the stars we see from afar. They are somewhat similar to the sun which is made of hot gases, fused together, resembling a hot ball or cloud of dense air. Stars can also be classified by spectrum, which roughly corresponds to temperature. A spectrum is a plot of intensity of light at different frequencies, or the distribution of wavelengths and frequencies. According to astronomers, there are seven main types or spectral classes of stars which are represented by the letters O, B, A, F, G, K, and M. O and B stars are uncommon but they are the hottest and brightest stars. M stars are common, but the least hot and least bright stars. Kelvin is the unit of measurement used to measure the star's temperature. O stars, which have a blue color, are the hottest stars with average surface temperature of over 25,000 Kelvin. Next are the B stars, which have temperatures of 11,000 to 25,000 Kelvin. A stars are also blue and have temperatures of 7,500 to 11,000 Kelvin. F stars have temperatures of 6,000 to 7,500 Kelvin and their colors range from blue to white. G stars having temperatures of 5,000 to 6,000 Kelvin have colors of white to yellow. Then the K stars, with temperatures of 3,500 to 5,000 Kelvin, have orange to red colors. Lastly, the least hot stars are the M type, with temperatures below 3,500 Kelvin and are red in color. The Sun, which is the nearest star to our planet, is a G star and still has a remaining life of 5 billion years. Just imagine how hot the blue stars are compared to the sun. Most of the stars, about 90%, belong to the main sequence. The hotter the stars, the brighter they are. The sun, which belongs to the main sequence, is a yellow dwarf star. Just like the yellow dwarf star, a red dwarf star like the Proxima Centauri is a young star. There are also giant and supergiant stars, which are old and large. Stars are really interesting. 